Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. How's it going guys? So today's video is going to be about how I think um, you should mod the clones and we're going to chat about two different ways of modding them. Um, my way is going to be when they're lower gear like how mine are right now. I only have uh, gear 11 fives, gear, what is that, gear 9 echo and gear 12 rex and then actually we're going to throw into the mix shock T. My shock T is only gear 8 so very very low gear and just what I think you should be doing um, in modding these guys for you know maybe if you want to run them on defense maybe if you want to keep them for offense for a little bit easier of a cleanup team um just what i think is kind of the, the the best bang for your buck when it comes to modding at low gear levels and then later on we'll show you the, the most optimal way of modding and i just want to you know preface this video that some of this footage is brought to you by mandalore so thank you mandalore um i will i will leave a link to his channel in the description below go check out his videos guys it's pretty cool stuff um and he has some good uh mods on his clones as well to show you guys so let's just start this off by my clones at a lower gear level guys um i think this guy if you do want to throw zeta on him this video will be a day later than the ga start phase so it's going to be kind of out of the date and out of the loop there i'm going to be kind of late on that whole ga stuff but what i'm doing here and with the zeta i had saved up i put it on fives the Zeta here on his tactical awareness is pretty cool. Um, whenever he's defeated, um, 501st clone trooper allies gain his max HP, his max protection, speed, and offense stats, in addition to their own at the end of the battle. And that's pretty really, really, really important, I think, in you know lower gear levels as well as the the higher gear levels. So when it comes to modding, let's get back on on track here. The modding here on my fives at low gear level. I, want him, I wanted him to have some um, HP and protection, that way if he does die, um, they're going to gain all of his max you know, stats, right? Um, speed's not too important on 5s. At a low gear level, I just can't you know, force some really fast mods on him. But keep in mind, um, Rex is unique with the extra, per extra percent of the speed. And on top of that, if you're running shock lead, you're getting even more speed as well. Um, but what I think is really, really good to hit here for his, his uh, stats is his offense. Um, I find it really, really important to have your fives be really, really um, hard hitting or just, you know, have high offense. So when he does die, he gives out the huge amounts of offense to Echo and Rex and um, especially Echo. Echo is probably the biggest damage dealer in this team. Um, and now we'll go over to him right now. Echo, I am running him with crit damage and crit chance. You don't really need crit chance in this. If I could uh, um, optimize these mods, I would go for crit damage and potency to land his stun on the EMP grenade. And then also, um, just, you know, a lot of damage on this guy, really. Um, don't want too much speed. Speed does help, but when you, imp when you implement all of the extra speed boosts from, like I just said, Shock's lead, um, Rex is unique. The speed doesn't really need to be there. The speed is really more for Rex and Shock. But on, on I would say, um, Echo and Fives, just load them up with a lot of survivability, a lot of HP protection, a lot of crit damage, and a lot of offense. So, And another thing here with the crit chance, you don't need to worry about too much because whenever, uh, um, or where is it? It's this one here. Yeah, when, whenever a Clone Trooper or 501st critically, or allied critically hits an enemy, his next turn will be a critical hit, and with that um, being added to all of his bonus turns, he's going to be critting all the time. So just, you know, keep in mind you want this guy to be really slow, or not like super slow, but keep him kind of similar to the modding of Yoda. Have him hitting really hard. Crit damage is super helpful here, guys. And then next up here is Rex. Rex um, is pretty simple, I would think. Um, this unique is the one I'm, ch I'm chatting about here with the 4% the extra speed. Um... You know, if you, if you keep in mind, um, all those three, it's 12, plus if you want to run Ahsoka, that's 16. Um, that's like a bunch of speed, and on top of that, if you're running a shock lead, your Rex will be going first. I did the math here. Um, I, I think I did the math right here. So he's at 227 plus the 14, or no, let's see. It's uh, the, it's a 12% plus the 35 from the speed. That's going to be around the 300 mark of, the, of his speed here. So he's going to be getting up his cleanse here first. 
the form up, getting even more TM. And that's kind of why you want him to be really fast. That way he gets this ability up, a lot more TM to the team, and then you don't need to worry about the speed on those other guys. More speed on Rex is really beneficial here. And I would um, recommend also some offense. I mean, you want him to be doing some good damage as well and some nice crit damage. Um, I would say, you know, some protection, like the, the, these guys, is, their whole modding are, is pretty similar besides uh, Rex and Shock T. You just want those two, Shock and Rex, to be somewhat fast. Pretty tanky, you know, somewhat tanky, but really you want to have just wreck or have fives die and give it all of his stat boost, really. So play around that, and that's really, really important to have in mind. And then down here for my Shock T, I'm only going for some speed here. Don't really have anything too crazy on her. Mine's not a good showcase. But this is why I'm going to now show you guys Mandalore's footage of, uh, you know, what his mods are looking like. And then we'll go into just wrapping up with some fun little battles of what versus uh, other different teams like Malix and just sort of that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is Mandalore's footage of his uh, mods. And I think these are pretty optimal in my opinion. He has his Echo here at 251. Let's just rewind it a little bit. It's kind of fast. Um, his Echo was at 251. I mean, that's pretty fast. But keep in mind, his uh, his clones are Gear 13. That's just what Mandalore is. He's, uh, he's a big Kraken. And interesting here, he's running uh, no extra crit damage. Um, he can probably maybe go without crit damage. But I really find the crit damage, at least across for crit damage, is really, really beneficial to the team. Um, but just keep in mind, you want to mod him similar to Yoda, and then later on down here, his damage is at 45, 41. That's very, very good. And on top of that, he has really high um, crit chance. I would like, I think a good balance in this is some good potency for his stuns. If you were to use him versus some droids, if not, don't worry about it too much. But the main, main things here is trying to at least max out or get a crit damage triangle. And then also a lot of damage. Those two things I think should be something I should look forward to. Um, but this is still some good mods here on Mandalore. And then back here is, is his fives. His fives is a 245 speed. That's pretty fast for fives. Uh, and then his uh, HP protection pools are amazing. That is probably just as good or maybe even better than my GK right now. And then his nasty is at 100%, which is really, really good. I think this is pretty uh, optimal here. I think a lot of nasty is really helpful for fives. Um, and then down here we can see he's got some good damage. If I was to have gear 13 fives, I would crank that guy's damage up, baby. I would I would run, um, you know, maybe if, if I could get his, his HP protection pulls up pretty good and I could, you know, get an offense um, cross or a triangle or an arrow... I would definitely run one of those, cranking up his damage at least 1k plus. That way, if, when he does die, he's going to give him all of that crazy offense boost. And that's kind of why you just want to just have your Echo just modded like crazy, crazy high damage and DPS. Um, that's pretty good fives, though. And then Rex here, like I said, 304 speed. You want Rex to be one of the fastest here. Getting up his um, his TM boost with his, uh, with his cleanse and all that stuff is really, really important. And when you use that move, your entire clone... Um, team is going to be going first. It just is going to happen. 3-4 is his space speed right here on his Rex. Keep in mind this is without adding in the percent extra speed from his Unique or Shock T's leadership. This will outspeed literally any team in the game right now besides perhaps another one of these teams. But really, let's just rewind. Let's see his HP protection. Yeah, this is really good. 42 and almost 50k protection. This is something that I think is close to being perfect. Um... I would just like pretty much in all these to have some good damage stats just so if fives does happen to die your team will just be a super soldiers really just doing some crazy crazy damage and then cody um i'm not gonna really touch up cody too much because you're not 501 first but i am interested to see his uh, shock t right here okay shock t let's rewind it a little bit 328 speed a lot of HP protection. This is a very, very good speeds and stats here. Um, again, maybe uh, maybe you want to throw on a crit damage triangle. Maybe not. I'm not too sure there. I'm not a shock T expert, but I do like the damage here. 40, 40k or 4, 4, 4k, um, 43, 34. That's pretty good stats here. Um, and yeah, guys. Well, now we'll just go and show you one battle here, and we'll wrap it up. This is the battle that we're going to be playing as we wrap up the video today. Was just about how I think you should mod them at a lower gear level, and when you know they're pretty much fully fleshed out in their gear, like gear 12s, gear 13s, 
Um, just to summarize this, guys, and to, and to conclude this video, I think for, let's start off here with fives. I think for fives, you want to have some good offense numbers, um, but keep in mind with uh, his HP protection, I think when it comes to fives modding, you want to have his main priority be his HP protection with some good defense stats. He has some really high defense as well, but also if you can't hit those marks, try to get some good offense in there just so when he does die, he's going to be giving out all of his extra stats and offense is going to be included in there. So that's kind of Rex, um, or that's kind of Fives rather. And then up next is Echo. Echo, I think, is one of the simplest ones. Um, a lot of HP, or not a lot of HP, a lot of crit damage, a lot of offense is really probably the best way to go here. Um, making sure that when Fives does die, he's going to be ramped up his damage through the roof. And maybe some potency, I probably wouldn't go for a potency cross, but if you can find some good secondaries for potency, go for it, guys. And don't worry too much about the crit chance. I think he's got some uh, really cool built-in kits um, with his crit chance, just always critting. So just summarizing him, go for a lot of offense, go for a lot of crit damage. And if you can, try to get him up there in some HP protection as well. That really does help out pretty much any tune in this game. And then for Rex here, pretty simple as well. Go for a lot of speed on Rex. Go for some HP protection, and if you can, throw in some extra offense stats as well. Um, and then last but not least is Shock T. Shock T is very similar to Rex. You want to have her go pretty fast, um, if not have her the fastest. And just, you know, mod her for speed, mod her for some damage. Just keep in mind that at Gear 13, they get a lot of extra damage boosts, so... I mean, if you want to, you can probably go for more of the other stats, but it kind of just is a lot of just trying to equal out all the stats, but with really high emphasis in this team for a lot more damage, because once five dies, you really, this is the main point to the whole clean. Once, once fives dies, you want to make sure that your team is just going to go crazy mode and just do a bunch of damage. Um, and I hope you guys like these two battles here at the end. This is Mandalore fighting some uh, Gear 13 Malaks with Marauder in the mix. And he's just testing out different footage here with teams that, he, um, that he's been trying out. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys, for today's video. Modding, if you guys if you guys are out there and you don't really re agree with me and my mod, just let me know what I could uh, you know, have told you guys better to do here. And just, you know, I don't know, I guess just kind of be constructive about it. I'm not too, you know, much of a clone expert right now, but I would love some good feedback on my suggestions if they were on point, if they were not on point. But this is kind of how I'm thinking of them for right now in my GA purposes. Mine are not, you know, super high in gear. Mine are no Mandalores or not gear 13 or anything like that, but I think I got mine in a good spot to be placed in a defensive team in a back wall. But that's kind of it for today's video, guys. If you did not enjoy, give it a like, um, share and sub, it really does help my channel. And go check out Mandalores again. This is his footage. Um, go check out his stuff, guys. It's pretty cool stuff over there on his channel. Um, that's it for me today, though. There's a Discord and Patreon. Go check out those two. That's it for me today, guys, and I'll see you later.